as a challenge. Finished ninth today. He's also a pretty handy skeet shooter. Finished fourth and sixth place in the, the competitions in the Olympics. So he's certainly got the reactions that he will need when he gets into the soft stuff. Nani Roma was the leading Mitsubishi today, seventh. You've got a feeling that they might just be holding themselves back a little bit. Well, they had to today because fuel consumption was on everyone's mind. Stefan Pellehansel had a puncture as well, though. That really slowed him down. Finished eighth, five minutes and 17 behind the lead time on this day. Well, Stefan Pellehansel is a feature. Rushi Matsuoka must surely be... Uh, have statues erected to him in Dakar. Always seems to be here and still is the Japanese. Tenth today. Had to hold himself back from just nailing the throttle right the way to the ground. He loves shoving the pedal forward. Held back, had to. Fuel once again. At the forefront of everyone's minds. On board with Luke Alfond here. Well, not a good start for the uh, 06 winner. Opening stage of 2007, and the Sentinel alarm is beeping, he says. What's that? <laughs> Somebody's approaching and approaching fast. And the suspicion is that they've got a puncture at this point. Well, you've got to find some sort of excuses, haven't you? That's De Villiers, and look at the speed he's carrying. Well, it was a puncture that was starting to develop. Picard saying, wow, he's fast. Really wants to show it as well. It's De Villiers, they knew that. Picard saying, do you think we might have a puncture? Maybe the front right. And it proved that that's exactly what they had. Pulled clear, and they had to change the tyre. Do you sense that we've got a puncture? It says absolutely. And you can see handling just starting to go. Sentinel starting to fire up again as they slowed down. They pulled clear to allow everyone past and did the change that was necessary. Jean-Louis Schlesser complained that stones were thrown at him on the stage today. Fans here have long memories, and in 2003, the FIA Cross Country World Cup, he was battling with Sousa, went to appeals, and there's a lot of acrimony then. Not now, though. He moved over to let Sousa through. It didn't stop him being moderately upset by uh, the behaviour of the fans on this day. Well, Jean-Louis finished 18th. Ivan Muller fared an awful lot better in the buggy, <laughs> despite crashing into a tree. And there were some, um, there were some monkeys up there as well, who thankfully, for them, he didn't hit any harder. While well, hoping for a good view of proceedings, Well, they could have got more than they bargained for out there. Robbie Gordon on board the Hummer. Well, it's kind of a Hummer development machine. It's got a bit of a look of a pro truck around about it, hasn't it? But unfortunately for him, he got beached today. There's a lot of space between those wheel arches. <laughs> and ever the enthusiast, Robbie Gordon, just manages to get assistance where necessary, even if it's from a, a handy JCB. So confirmation of the results with Sousa out front ahead of de Villiers. But look at it, Volkswagen, 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 Volkswagen. One, two, three, four, five. They'll be pleased. Watch out, everybody else. BMW, the nearest to them. Mitsubishi with work to do. Plenty of time still left. Ask for you, public in Pro. Well, the crowd was fantastic, says Carlos Souza. We did a good job. We had a difficult moment crossing a little river when we lost completely uh, our visibility for about 30 seconds. And uh, a lot of spectators closed to the track, and I was a bit scared for them. I slowed down a lot, lost a lot of time. The big thing of the day, though, is the enormous crowd, and uh, the win, I dedicated for them, he says. I think it was a bit more difficult than we thought. You know, it was uh, quite twisty and uh, very, very sandy. Uh, in the trees, you know, so it was very narrow at some places and also the surface very slippery. Uh, so you had to be careful, you know, we uh, we didn't take any risks and uh, just uh, went at a night pace. Uh, we caught Luke after about 40 or 50 kilometers and uh, we passed him. And then uh, there were just many, many, many people on the stage as well, which was great to see, you know, but no, we're just happy to have uh, 
Look, I was saying, uh, I believe that driving on this kind of terrain with a lot of sand all the time is not much fun, but because you can't use the potential of the car, he says. We weren't pushing all the way there. We couldn't. In Mexico, we have huge crowds, but this was the biggest I've ever seen. And there was some point where it was probably 20 or 30 kilometers nonstop people. So um, it's exciting and it's also extremely risky and it's a little bit, um, you know, it's it's a little bit scared as a driver because I don't want to hit someone. But, um, you know, we're flat out and they're cheering for us. So it's really a lot of energy. Yeah, Chief Schutt saying a uh, uh, suffered on the stage. We had 11 cars in front of us, which created a lot of deep tracks. Very physical stage out there. <laughs> <laughs> Saw Yuta, our teammate, so we stopped to help her out. For me, though, this stage was just a warm up for Africa. Wise words.